Today I want to talk to you about revising to add dialogue to a narrative because many times when we want our narrative to come alive, we can actually have characters speak in the story. Now, I, I, I want to make sure I, that you understand that I don't mean to just have a character say, hi, and the other character say, hi, and that's dialogue because that doesn't propel the story. That doesn't push the story along or make it exciting. Okay, so what, what, I'm look, what I'm talking about is actually taking events in the story that I had written that had happened and putting those events into dialogue. So at the beginning of the story when I said I walked up to the counter, I would not want to add dialogue where it says the lady at the counter said, hello, and I said, hi. That wouldn't work. That's not what we're talking about. What we want to do is actually go from what I'm going to show you here today. So here's a continuation of what I have been writing in my uh, uh, narrative, my draft. Notice I didn't indent because this is part of a paragraph that I was writing. In a few minutes, she explained that I had passed my test with an 85%. Now this is the lady who is scoring my test. I was thrilled. She asked me to wait in the lobby until it was my turn to complete the driving test. I'm not saying that I couldn't leave this like this and it would be okay. What I am saying is that I want, at this point, I want my writing to come a little bit more alive, so I'm going to use some dialogue to change that. I said that she explained, so I'm actually going to have her explain. So, I'm going to indent quotation excuse me Mr. Stevens and there's a question mark there because it's not excuse me Mr. Stevens it's excuse me Mr. Stevens question mark now I'm ready to drop to the next line I'm going to write in two different colors so you can see the two different people now it's me talking, so I'm going to drop to the next line and indent. I'm just drawing little arrows there so you can, can see. Yes, ma'am. I said, nearly running to the counter. <laughs> that shows my excitement. So now I have, in a few minutes, she explained that I passed my test with an 85%. That's what she's going to do now. You scored 85% on the written test. Congratulations. You will now need to wait in the lobby until it is your turn to take the driving test quotations all right so now I've taken this information I've put it into a little bit of dialogue to make it a little bit better excuse me mr. Stevens yes ma'am I said nearly running to the counter you scored an 85 percent on the written test congratulations you will now need to wait in the lobby until it is your turn to take the driving test Let's see if there's anything else I want to change. She asked me to wait in the lobby until it was my turn to complete the driving test. Nope. So now I'm ready to write about what I did, and I will continue on with my narrative. I waited in the lobby for what seemed like hours. You can see on my draft what I put there. But what you want to do now is look for some opportunities to add dialogue. And you'll notice that I added dialogue at the end of my narrative, too, when the meanie guy was talking to me. And that's a great place to add dialogue as well. So look for places to add dialogue, meaningful dialogue that is, and revise your narrative to add the dialogue.